I, Chief Doctor Engineer Victor Dean Ifizwe, a coachy and what a name, also a coimet and a noble Roboga Santarama, midwife the birth of a child somewhere in Akure, long time ago. And at birth, we called him a doctor. Jackery mm. damages. Mm. He will damage and he will repair you. Mm. Gentlemen and ladies, welcome, Doctor Damages. Hey. Hey. Welcome to the show. My name is Doctor Damages. We're coming to you from the greatest city in the world. New York City. Yes, yes, yes. New York City is so great that come January 2017, uh -huh. one of us will be the president of the United States. Yes. One of us, one of us. The only question left is, will it be the first woman president of the United States? Uh -huh. Or will it be the first openly racist president? Hey! Yeah. I know, I, I said it, I said it. I'm not, I'm not scared of Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. yeah. Donald Trump said that he will not trust the judgment yes. of a Mexican-American judge. Hey. Oh yeah, he said what? it. Because the man will be biased against him for planning to build a war mm. between Mexico and America. Nonsense! Wow, wow, wow. He also said that he will not trust the judgment of a Muslim American judge hey. because he said he will ban all Muslims from coming to America. Ah, you see, you see, see, I think, I think Trump is onto something here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, you boys should pay attention, my homeboys. Yes. Because you can go to court now and say, ah, you don't trust the judgment of this white judge. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, because, because this white judge is the grandchildren of racist hey. yes. people who enslaved you. Hey. I'm giving you ideas, yo. <laughs> I'm not collecting money. Just yeah. you can make that case. Yes, sir. If Trump wins, you can win. Mm -hmm. Now, I tell you, I tell you, it's going to be an interesting summer in America. Mm -hmm. For yes, me, sir. for me, I'm ready I'm to move done. to Australia as soon as Donald Trump is <laughs> sworn in as the president of the United States. I'm ready. You ask Trump. why? Why why Australia? Let me tell you. No. A homeowner in Australia ran over a frog what? with his lawnmower. He was mowing the lawn and ran over a frog. But why he, now? he felt so bad that he had to airlift the frog uh -huh. 500 miles away mm. to receive treatment in a hospital. Ooh. So the thing is this, this is what I'm saying. If they could treat a frog this way, imagine how they would treat me. <laughs> a, me, a potential goat. Yes. <laughs> No, 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 wait, wait. When, when I say goat, I mean the greatest of all time. Yeah! You know? Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. You know? Yeah. I didn't know there is another meaning of goat. Yes. <laughs> until yeah. last week. You know, until last week. Goat. When Muhammad Ali died. Mm. You know? Ali was not just a flamboyant heavyweight boxer. Uh huh. His lasting legacy was in what he achieved outside the ring. Mm. It's not about this my practice, people like cut up every morning, every day. Uh -huh. It's about what I achieve outside of this place. Yes. yes. If you like, ask Tomato Joss. Yes. <laughs> now, 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 Ali was the one that said he paid a big price when he said he's not going to fight in Vietnam. Yes, yes. yes. He lost yes. millions of dollars That's when he was true. banned from boxing. Yes. You know. But he made the sacrifice just to prove that black lives matter. Yes. Yeah. He said he will not be recruited by those who have denied him freedom in America mm. to go and fight far away in Vietnam. Mm. That is classic. Yes. Classic. What? Watch him. And shoot them for what? They never call me nigger. They never lynch me. They never put no dogs on me. They never rob me of my nationality. Rape and kill my mother and father. What well, I'm gonna shoot them for? What? How can I go shoot them? Them little poor little black people, and little babies and children, and women. How can I shoot them poor people? I'm just take me to jail. <laughs> you see, that's that. At Muhammad Ali's funeral the other day, mm -hmm. Bill Clinton captured our sentiments mm -hmm. when he said this. Watch. I will always think of Muhammad as a truly free man of faith, and. Being a man of faith, he realized he would never be in full control of his life. Oh. Wow, wow. Yeah. yeah. He also said this. Watch. He refused to be imprisoned by a disease that kept him hamstrung longer than Mansell Mandela was kept in prison in South Africa. People, people have opinion of Ali, what they think about him. Mm -hmm. But when you think about what killed him, he died as a result of complications from Parkinson's syndrome. Mm. You know? Talking about sick people, President Muhammad Buhari of Nigeria is sick. Mm. 
Do you know? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. He's currently receiving treatment in a hospital in the UK. Mm, now I don't know. I don't know what happened to uh, what happened to that uh, Ababios Hospital. <laughs> what happened? Even no Asso Rock Hospital. Why is he not there mm. getting treatment? What what is up with that? It's, no, it's for the treatment of the people of Nigeria. <laughs> not the now, no, oh, that's true. That's true. That's true. Now, the official statement was that he was on a ten-day vacation. Yes. During which he will rest and seek treatment for a, a stubborn ear infection. Mm. Now, unofficially, the stories are more colorful. Yes. Eh? There are reports that doctors have removed what is causing the ear infection in Buhari's ear. Uh -huh. His original birth certificate. <laughs> <laughs> they said he hid it there so that nobody will find it before the election. That was what was causing it. They now removed it. I, I didn't say this. It's uh -huh. what they were saying. Uh -huh. uh, now, some people also said that he wasn't even sick. Uh -huh. That's Femi, Femi Adeshina. <laughs> the your guy is saying that I am sick. Femi is still saying that he wasn't sick. <laughs> he started doing... <laughs> anyway, <laughs> some said that he was in London to meet with the Queen mm. and agree on how, how is the best way to break Nigeria up. How many times? <laughs> now, now, now. The most fascinating story mm. was that of those who are insisting that Buhari traveled to London to avoid the Niger Delta Avengers. What? That their missiles were about to rain on Asso Rock. The, oh. the man Buhari said, I'm out of here. Yes, <laughs> now, on the part of Buhari, he said, and I quote, I can fall sick like anyone else. That's true. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah. yeah. You know, I thought about them um, taking uh, Lukozed and uh, Rabina to him. You know, even <laughs> to wish him quick, quick recovery, you yes, know? Now. Even a rap of uh, Moi Moi and Agidi. Uh. But I checked with <laughs> Eric Air. Eric Air said they don't go to where he is. <laughs> That's why if you're sick, stay around your people so that you can get a, a, a Gide and a Kamo and all those uh, things. Uh, Going uh, to this far country, we, how will Buhari be eating, uh, su um, what, what, what do they serve in London? Chips and ch chips and what? Chicken Keba and kebab. 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 Can you imagine Buhari eating a sandwich, you know, yeah. cheese and, and yeah. <laughs> you know, Chicken and stay cheese. where you can eat Amala mm -hmm. and uh, a tour. Yeah. You Chicken feel better. Cheese. Your body will adapt to what you are used to. Meanwhile, meanwhile, the acting president, Professor Yemi Osimba Jo, yes. met with the governors yeah, of the Niger Delta states mm -hmm. and service chiefs over this Avenger thing. Yes, ma'am. Because they are threatening to destroy Nigeria in, in seven days. Was it not clean up After the seven days, they give another ultimatum, another seven days. After another seven, you know. Anyway, yes. but, but this guy met with the service chiefs. Mm. He see change. In just one year, a mere commissioner mm -hmm. has been transformed into someone who meets with the service chiefs. <laughs> Remember when, when he was not allowed to attend security briefings? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because he didn't have security clearance. Now, yeah. now, now he's the man in charge. Mm. And people tell me there's no change. There's no change. Mm. That is change, my man. <laughs> that is change. <laughs> now, talking about changing times, Nigeria's former president, Dr. Goodluck Jonathan, you know him? You remember him? Yeah. Yeah. He, has, he continues to put up charming offensive hey. across the world. Mm. Last week, he said this to Bloomberg News. Watch. We did very well. I think within the five years that I was in office, that was when agriculture got to the peak. You can ask anybody. Uh, uh, I know. I said, Benny. 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 Yes, now, sir. Jonathan said he was persuaded to squander $18 billion <laughs> in excess crude account. Wow. He, was he didn't want to do it. He mm. was persuaded. Wow. I said this man, sir. <laughs> okay. So, so University of Portaco didn't teach him that you leave the kitchen if you cannot stand the heat. Yes, sir. Mm. Atakure, they taught me that. I don't know why they didn't teach him that. At the University of Portaco. <laughs> anyway, he also told Bloomberg News this. Watch. Do you worry that you will come under investigation for corruption? No, of course, obviously that uh, I will be investigated, and I've been investigated. Yes, investigations are going on. This is the man, good luck, Ebele Jonathan, PhD. Mm. Now, now, oh, oh, this is the one that blew my mind. Jonathan suggested in that interview that Nigeria should revisit mm. the anti-gay law that he passed mm. and signed. What? Remember? What? Remember? Oh. And I'm, I'm asking, what happened? No, what happened? What happened? He has been hanging out with people abroad, you know, <laughs> a lot. <laughs> and they've been paying him and giving him awards. Now they are telling him what to say. Mm. Eh? Maybe the CIA is using him. <laughs> They want to transform Nigeria. That's MI. what they are doing now. MI. That is what I'm hearing. The people say that all the time. Or maybe his eyes are beginning to open. Mm -hmm. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
to see. I, I, I don't know what he's saying. Now, if you think that governance in Nigeria is a joke, mm -hmm. you are right. Yeah. If you think that it's beyond a joke, you're also right. Yes. Last week, a Kitty State governor, Ayo Fayoshe, mm -hmm. announced that he was going on strike. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's, yeah. He said he's going on strike to support oh the God. workers of his state who are already on strike. Is he on strike? <laughs> I know, I know. This is, this is, this is a wonderful man. Uh -huh. Fayoshe has not paid these workers for months. Mm. They are on strike, so he decided to go on strike too. Yeah. <laughs> now, after Fayoshe went on strike, I asked myself this question. Why am I not following the greatest entertainer on Nigeria political scene today? Uh, on Twitter. Why am I following, not following him? You. And I went and followed him. You know, I hope, I hope this will not make the Nigerian newspapers to stop bringing us the daily show by Ayo Fire Chef. Well, yes, sir. It's the most entertaining show. The man, the man has so much comedy skills beyond what you can see on Keeping It Real. <laughs> Doctor, is he paying himself? <laughs> He's not paying himself. He's not. He's not. He's not even eating anymore. He's on strike. He's fasting. But he's selling, he's selling beans. Anyway. The the anyway. In sports news, Stephen Keshi, the former Eagles player and who later became a coach, mm. died last week. Hey. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, so oh, sad. Oh, so oh. sad. Keshi oh, succeeded man. in playing for Eagles and coaching them and winning the African Cup of Nations. It's not an easy thing to as do. Player, so as a player, as a coach. Yes. It's not an easy thing. Even yes. Chris and Chukwu, all those people, they didn't, they didn't achieve well, something like that. Now, now. Now that he's dead, mm. all of you, I see all of you on Facebook, who used to abuse him, mm. you are now pretending as if you miss him so much. Oh, oh. we miss him. Oh, oh. hypocrites. Mm. <laughs> now, speaking of hypocrites, for those of you who do not know, on this show, we stay away from tragedies for tragedy's sake. Mm. When we talk about any tragic event, it must have an element of humor in it. Yes. Or some lessons that we can learn. Mm -hmm. Now, the killing of a Nigerian woman in Kano, it's one of such stories. Yes, yes. On this show, we have always opposed people taking the laws into their hands. Yes. But we found out that most people do the most terrible thing mm -hmm. on the basis of their conviction. Mm. And it's always attached to religious convictions. Mm. But on this show, we say, you mm -hmm. cannot mm -hmm. kill somebody yes. to defend your God. Yes. yes. We cannot. You cannot. Your God should be able to fight for himself. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, the president came out to condemn the killing of this woman. Mm. But then he said something that was a kind of justification for that killing. Mm. He what? said that we should all respect other people's religion. Yes. I mean, that is a given, but that's not a reason to kill people. By saying that it's wrong to kill the woman, but at the same time saying that people should also learn to respect other people's religion. You are essentially justifying the killing of that woman. Exactly. So Buhari, um, I don't know who writes these speeches for you. Um, if you want this country to move forward, you have to be stronger and bigger than yourself. Mm. You have to transcend yourself. I'm yes. talking to you, I, I, you know. I'm just helping you out. <laughs> ah! Doctor! I, that's, that's what I do here, help people out. Mm -hmm. It's based on the premise that a picture is worth more than a thousand. Words. Now, the first picture you're looking at is the cousin of former President Goodlord Jonathan. Uh -huh. he, here he is that coming out from courts where he is facing trial for Ooh. stealing $40 million. What? You see, look at him, look at him, look what? at him. Just yeah, US yeah. Oh, US, you $40 million. Uh -huh. and, and look at him very well. He is smiling, you know. Uh -huh. And this is, this is a, this is a lesson. You, when you are facing a trial of this magnitude, mm -hmm. the first law is keep smiling. Mm. The second one is hold a Bible. Mm. He's holding a Bible, <laughs> telling you that he can't, do any, he can't do anything bad. You know? <laughs> Can you imagine that? The audacity. These are, these are the hypocrites we're talking Nonsense. about. Nonsense. Nonsense. Hypocrites. Tomorrow, Nonsense. tomorrow you go to church. <claps> anyway. <the> ne <laughs> now, the next picture you're looking at is the picture of a pregnant woman. Now, this woman, they said that her pregnancy is the largest they've seen in this world. What? And on the other side is the picture of uh, Rotimi Amechi. Mm. You know? Now, now, what this tells you is that there are two kinds of pregnancies. Yes. There are those that have due dates mm -hmm. and those that do not. Definitely. Why are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> no, Amechi, Amechi is my man. You know that me, me and Amechi, we are, we are tight. It's just that he should let his work talk for him. He talks too much. Don't you think so? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Here are some stories making headline news across Nigeria this week. Fire out to kill me, says Shehu Sani. You know Shehu Sani, yeah, the senator. Shehu, He's saying that El Rufai is out to kill him. Why? And I'm like, that little El Rufai. <laughs> Shame on you, uh -huh. Shehu. Shame on you. Shehu, do you know that you can pick up El Rufai, hide him inside your afro, mm. and nobody will find him for uh -huh. weeks? <laughs> for weeks? Why are you afraid of him? Eh? Pick him up, you know. <laughs> come, come over him, man. That's it. Nonsense. Nonsense. We won't kill or kidnap anybody, says the Niger Delta Avengers. Oh. Hey, yeah, you know, they are so considerate. Mm -hmm. but, but they don't understand. The Supreme Court of Nigeria said that in Nigeria, oil pipelines are people too. Mm -hmm. And they are more valuable than Nigerians. Yeah. <laughs> so if you destroy them, you are doing more than killing people and You're kidnapping right. people. Absolutely. Check the Supreme Court ruling of 1996. Yes. I'm not making it up. Yes. It's not true. It's, yes, it's inconsistent. <laughs> Babangida alive in Germany, not dead, says mm -hmm. the family. Yes. I'm like, he better be alive. At least, if he wants to die, not the same week that we are honoring the great Muhammad Ali. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, it will be confusing. <laughs> <laughs> He's alive. <laughs> anyway. Nigerians tell Buhari, name and shame the looters not showing us mere figures. Mm. Did you see what happened? Yes, they were showing us how much money they got. They didn't tell us who were the people who stole the money. Mm. Yeah, eh? This Nigerian self, you give them keke na pepe, and they want private jets. <laughs> Nigeria loses 197 billion what? to bad roads, says Dangote. Mm. Dangote, you know Dangote? Yeah, he, you know, yeah, he's saying that we lose 197 billion every year. Mm because of bad roads. Mm. Now, I bet you he didn't add the value of the 101 people that his trucks kill every year. Uh. He didn't add that. <laughs> you know, his calculation, he was just thinking about the, the tire. He, don't, he didn't add the value of those people that his truck kill. Mm. Ki Nonsense. If this is America, you know he will be broke by now. They will yes. sue him and yes, no. he will pay. This is, this is very interesting. This is for you. <laughs> this is for you. Yeah. Man dies during marathon sex oh. with concubine. Oh, this is no, my question. This is my question. This is my question. No. This is a warning to you, but this is my question. Uh -huh. When reporters get to the scene of this event, uh -huh. you know, they ask that most important question How many rounds? <laughs> they don't care. They don't care. Work. You know, that's, they, once they get in there, they, they will keep asking, How many, how many rounds? How many? Rounds? I, need to, I need to know whether it's marathon. I need to know whether it's marathon. If it's not marathon, they go home. <laughs> it's not sprints. It's time for your. Email! <laughs> <laughs> it's time for your email. Too much just, welcome mm -hmm. back. Wow. Every day is welcome, 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 back, yeah. welcome. I mean, Maybe you, I should you, go you, for long so I can need, get it. Do you need a new uniform? I, I, I I'm feeling good now. I've like been, I want to write a I've check. I've been saying it. For I want this to write while. a check. All this while. Maybe God has finally answered yeah, my prayers. Yeah, I think I'm feeling. Just just give me Should my I? checkbook after this. I will give you give you. Amen. A, you need a new uniform. Next next week you, you need new uniform. Yeah. Hey. And this hair, I think you need to do hey. a Brazilian thing. You see, don't you, listen. Oh, people are trying. Yeah, don't Some, listen to people like summer him. Summer is coming. You know what? No, and, I'm I'm fine with my natural you're fine? hair. I'm, I'm, my man is fine. Which one? Is it the one? Is it one? Wait, 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 wait. Is it doctor. one from Russia or the one from? Okay, okay, let's go. Tell me after the show. Tell me after the, the time show. is running okay, out. Okay, okay, it's okay. okay. Our first email is from Honorable Shay Lima from Jigawa. Jigawa, Jigawa. Yeah, that's my friend. Your we used friend. to drink kunu know. a long time ago. Long, I'm sure. When when you were not yet born. You know? I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah they, he writes. Anyway, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to say that they, they've not met. You know. Mm -hmm. I mean, your parents, that's what I mean. I'm sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> keep going, keep going. He writes, yes. Doctor, yes. I want you to come to the aid of President Mohamedou Buhari ah, ah. by saving him from Lai Mohammed and Femi Adeshina. Oh, hmm. he, needs, uh, he needs someone to mm -hmm. say. From Femi especially. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you have people like Femi Adeshina and Lai <laughs> Mohammed telling lies to the president on per second billing, Wow. Why won't the president have ear infection? <laughs> surprising, 
Subscribing to your weekly diagnosis is far more medicinal than going to London for treatment. Of course. It's high time you recommend the replacement of these liars mm. with Adiola. Ah. Mm -hmm. We are rest assured. Ah. She will keep it real. Wow. Regards to your professional nurse, Tomato job. You know, thank you, my friend. You know, the, I, I, let me say this. When I was at John Hopkins University eh? studying medicine, hmm. I did a fellowship on ENT, ear and throat infection. <laughs> I could treat the president, but what? nobody cared. Nobody cared. They didn't care about me. No. Nope. But that's okay. That's okay. Let him go to London. Let him spend pounds. You know, we, I could treat him. I'll call it Naira. I don't know why. I don't know why they, there's no respect for me. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, we we'll talk about this when he comes back. We we'll talk about what was the question again? Next. <laughs> I forgot the question. Next. Our second email is from Ali Ahmed. He writes. Ali Ahmed. Don't mm, we that's know your him? friend too. Yeah, yeah, don't we know him? Oh, God. Everybody's uh, your friend. No, no, this one I think I'm okay, but go ahead, mm -hmm. go ahead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dear Dr. Damages, yes. this is my first email. Oh, thank I you. love your show oh, and I don't miss it. Wow. Keep up the good work. Hmm? What is your view about the current APC change in Nigeria? Oh. And tell Tomato Joss to stop rubbing too much, make too much makeup <laughs> and lipstick. She should also learn to laugh like a lady. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ahmed, how is that for you? Ooh. Yeah, yeah, man. No, By the oh, way, exactly. are you sure this show is coming live from New York City, uh -uh. USA? Uh -uh. These guys laughing at the background seems to be moto packed out. Ali, you finish, you finish them. Thank you, thank you for writing. I've been talking, I'm talking, I'm talking. I have meetings, I have meetings, nothing works. Thank you, Ali, thank you so much. As for the APC, you know, and their change, I was told that they are hiring 500,000 teachers. Why not? In fact, we have three people here who are going home. <laughs> They're going home for their other job. And then they have started giving out lunch to school children. Do you know That's that? very good. You know, when I was at school, I was always, always hungry. That's why I can't, you know, anyway, let me not know that. But, but um, by this time next year, we will know if there is change or not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if, like they say in French, um, um, I, do you want me to speak French? Yes. <laughs> I know, let me, let me, let me not confuse people here. Like they say in French, the more things change, the more they remain the same. Mm. If we don't see change mm. by this time next year, interpret. That's it. Interpret. We will never go to church. Ah, she's happy. <laughs> you sound Chinese. <laughs> next. Our final email is from oh, oh, Chris in Houston. Yeah, time is ticking. Wow, wow. We have to go. Okay. Ah, we have lives. He writes. I, I, I pay you to do this. <laughs> I pay you a lot of money. Don't say that. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, Doctor D. Oh my man. Mm. From where? Houston. 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 Yeah, yeah. I think we're going to Houston Chris from very Houston. soon. Yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah. mm -hmm. News to we. me. Yeah, you are, you are going to. Go yeah, Doctor D. Yeah. Next I am stop. not your friend, uh -uh. but have been following your program, He's not my which friend. I think is not only entertaining but very informative. Oh. Please keep it up. Oh, that. Thank you. Can you please ask TJ to render herself to Nigeria to reduce the tomato scarcity and Ooh. stop wasting away in New York? That, I've been a, saying it's the same a good, thing. It's eh? a good point. It's a good eh? point. You know. Over to you, tomato juice. Why are you here and they're suffering in Nigeria uh -huh. without tomatoes? Listen, I'm Why? going. I'm going to Africa in December, eh? Ah, Africa. You shall Can, hear No, more. no, Nigeria is not Africa. Africa is in I'm Nigeria. I'm going to Africa. Africa is in Nigeria. <laughs> I'm a citizen of the world. <laughs> no, no, uh, tomato juice. Africa is a country. Okay, okay, we'll talk about this after the show. It's a continent. Too. This is. Oh, who is who that? Yeah, boss. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Ali, 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 Ali. You Ali. are right. That's all the time we have for emails. Please keep sending your emails to Dr. Damages at gmail.com and follow us on Twitter at Dr. Damages. Here is my concern for today. It's taken from page 419 of the book, I Am the Greatest mm -hmm. by Mohammed Alek. Mm -hmm. And it says, service to others is the rent you pay for your room here on earth. Mm. That's deep. Yeah. That's the, deep. The, man, the man was great. Until next week, I'm Dr. Damages. I diagnose you heal yourself. Woo -hoo! So you have to delete that. Yeah. Delete that. That one. Yeah. They'll that one. Delete, delete it. Mm -hmm. So tomato juice. I don't know. Tomato juice. So so um. Mm -hmm. What 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 is going on? Summer is coming. What? How do you spice up your life mm. during summer? Well, according to you, I need to first change my hair. No. Yeah. I, so where's the money? Yeah. That's not. I, that's I, not I, I, I um, need the thank you so much for watching. Uh, please. I'm begging you. Can you go and watch more? They, they asked me to do this. Otherwise, there won't be. You know, things are hard. Watch, watch more. I, in fact, there's somewhere I'm cooking a goose. Subscri also, subscribe to the Sahara YouTube account. 
What is the name of the account again? Anyway, subscribe. Whatever they say, subscribe. Click on it. Please. <laughs> For me. For me. Nice. Thank you.